Hi, my name is Harshwadhan Dawar and I'm the founder of Wealth Cafe where we share with you ideas to help you make smart investing decisions and grow your wealth. Last week I was sitting with a client and discussing numbers and he happened to mention that he was planning a get together with his siblings and his parents to celebrate Father's Day which was coming up on the weekend. That got me thinking on how we can celebrate Father's Day given the role they play in shaping our personal finances and the investment decisions that we take. Growing up, I've seen my father dabble in multiple businesses and at the same time using the profits to invest in real estate, invest in stocks, invest in bonds. And that gave me a lot of confidence to make my first investment decision. And that gave me a lot of confidence to set up my business when I started off uh, way back in 2010. And I also saw my father, the amount of stress that he gave on ensuring that the taxes are done right. He was a BCom graduate, but he was as good as a CA in terms of his understanding of taxes. And that gave him a lot of clout among all our relatives because he was constantly sought after to give taxation advice to them so that they do not make any mistakes. And that's where I learned the importance taxes play in our investing decisions. Apart from the kind of exposure that we get in terms of where we invest our money, I think our fathers have also played a very important role in giving us the launch pad from where we have started off. Whether it is in the form of the education you got that allowed you to get a fantastic first salary or in the form of the initial capital to set up a business, the launch pads that we have enjoyed in our careers is a much better one compared to what our fathers had back in the days. So the idea this Father's Day was to acknowledge the role our fathers have played in shaping our personal finances, in giving us the launch pad because of which we've reached where we are today. In addition to acknowledging this, a very important factor is to sit with your father and actually tell him that because of the launch pad you've got, you are financially independent, you're financially doing well, able to take care of your finances and the finances of your family if you're married and have kids. And he should not worry about your financial situation or your future financial requirements. Now, this will do two things. One, I think this will make your father very proud when he hears that his son or his daughter is financially independent, is financially able to take care of themselves. Uh, and it kind of fructifies all the efforts that he's put in. More importantly, it would maybe give him a freedom to do things that he would like to do with the money that he's accumulated over a long period of time. It's very common when we talk to our parents that when they have accumulated a lot of money, what do they plan to do with the money? Their answer generally, I would say eight out of 10 times is that they plan to leave it for their kids and grandkids. But when you go to your father and tell him that you are not waiting in line for his inheritance and that you're financially well off and to use all the money accumulated to maybe follow his passion, to maybe travel a bit, maybe pick up and do something which he always wanted to do but never did because he was saving up the money for his children. If you were to have this conversation with him and assure him that you are financially well off, that gives him a lot of confidence and also allows him to maybe take certain decisions which will allow him to enjoy the corpus that is accumulated, encourage him to use the money in a way he feels best. I think this is one of the best gifts you can give your father on this Father's Day, which will not only give him the assurance that his kids are financially well off and he need not worry about them, but also the freedom to do something extra with the earnings that he's accumulated over his entire lifespan. So let's use this Father's Day to acknowledge what our fathers have done for us and thank them for the fantastic launch pad that they've given you and to encourage him to use the money he's accumulated over this entire period of his lifespan for his personal consumption, to follow his passion, to maybe travel where he always wanted rather than continue to saving up to pass on to his children and grandchildren. If you have any ideas which you would like to share with us in which we can celebrate Father's Day, do pass them in the comment section below and we would share it around with all our viewers.